God has, past tense, delivered you from sin. And he's done so in Christ and on the cross. And with that said, we still battle with sin on a daily basis. But instead of begging God to deliver you from the hand of your enemies, your greatest enemy, meaning to separate you from further sin in your life, your Christian life, you're begging for money, an amazing physique, a beautiful girl, or some alpha male. You know, the key to your happiness and sense of purpose in life is never going to be found in material things or in earthly relationships. It's found in your capacity to praise God for who he is. And it, this is made possible when you beg God to deliver you from your greatest enemy, and that is sin. Not when you beg him to give you the desires of your heart. I know. I feel the weightiness of what I just said there too. But I really could use a little more financial security. I'm really sick, and I'm begging God for healing. I am, I am so lonely that I need somebody to, to walk through life with me. I'm not saying those things are sinful, per se, or that they're necessarily bad. Let's put something, let's prioritize things first. Father, separate me from my enemy and I'm going to trust you for the rest. Do you see the difference? Let's do that. Because what you want is what everybody wants. I want to be happy. I want to be content. You're going to find that when sin is less, has less and less power over you. And then those other things that you really desire, I trust God will bless you with. Bless me with. 